On today's food guide, banh mi's, the delicious Vietnamese sandwich. I explored around Dallas today to find some of the best banh mi spots. Welcome back to the channel, I'm the food guy and your food guide, banh mi's guys. We're here at our first stop, Quoc Bao Bakery. It's a no frills Vietnamese bakery where they have a delicious deals on banh mi. It's a buy X amount, get one free. Let's go check it out. Enough about me and more about this food. Uh, we just left Kwa Bao Bakery. Kwa, 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 Kwa. Yeah, a lot of bad pronunciation today, guys, but a no frills sandwich shop, banh mi shop uh, in Garland, Texas. See, it's kind of like in a little barrio area. We got three sandwiches, and the sandwiches were only like five, four dollars. It kind of varied. They had 12 different sandwiches. They have fresh bread. They were making it right inside the store. It smelled so good. We got the grilled chicken, pork. I think it was like grilled pork and like shredded pork or roasted pork. So, damn. Yeah, wind's blowing today. Yeah, these sandwiches are pretty good size. What does that look about? Three inches? <laughs> oh my God, I'm stupid. A pretty good size sandwich though for the price. I mean, two for one. You can't beat that deal. Banh mi's traditionally have, it's a baguette. Vegetables include like, you know, pickled uh, carrots, you know, cucumbers, cilantro, see jalapeno sometimes. So they got a kick, but we'll see how this, uh, this goes. So, see the veggies. I don't know if this is a marinade on this pork. I don't know what they used. Mayo, it's not mayo. And their sauce is delicious. That, getting the cilantro, pork is like roasted perfectly. Bread, you can hear that. You hear that crackle, guys? That ratatouille meme, this bread is delicious. <clears throat> Jalapenos uh, kicking in. I don't know much about the bakery. I know it's a, it's a woman owned business and they've been open since 2004 for a value. This banh mi is uh, pretty damn good. And so I think there's like glass noodles in the banh mi. So far this pork sandwich is, uh, this is freaking delectable. It is uh, making me making me feel some type of way. The veggies, the noodles, the, the pork, a little kick to it if you like a little kick. Nothing too spicy. I can't stop eating this. This is freaking delicious. Time to try the chicken. Same toppings, guys. Oh my gosh, that bacon? Oh. Not the juiciest. That's some good chicken though. I thought it was bacon, but just the, the grilled chicken. And honestly, that's a good sign when your grilled chicken is looking like bacon. Oh man. What counts as public indecency in a park? Well, I do like cilantro. I'm not used to having the, the whole stem. Sandwich is shining. Yeah, this sandwich is good. This bread, the sauce, the meat, the veggies. Oh man, food guide approved. And I don't really eat a whole lot of banh mi's. I don't really eat Vietnamese food in general. The only place we go to really is Chris and John. And that's kind of like a text mix of Vietnamese. So this is a great sandwich, guys. Great value. If you go to the bakery, it really doesn't look like much from the outside. Honestly, the neighborhood it's in is kind of reminding me of like me growing up as a kid, going to the barrios. You know what they say, guys. Our best places are always in uh, the most kind of suspect looking spots. Quak Bao Bakery, that's a must if you're uh, in Garland. They got great deals on sandwiches, buy two, get one free. This is a great sandwich, but we still got one more stop, guys. And our next stop, we're going to Dallas to try a, um, a more modern take on a banh mi that also has coffee, tea shops, and other delectables as well. Can't wait to keep finding some of the best banh mi's in Dallas. Enough about me and more about this food. Hi right, guys, we're at our second stop, the Sandwich Hag. They're known for their banh mi's, their coffees, their teas, as well as other Vietnamese appetizers and sides. They got voted in the best D's, best sandwiches, best banh mi's, so you know they're good. They have a very unique style here, guys. No a-hole rule, guys. Don't be a scumbag, be cool. Just be cool about it, enjoy the food, no substitutions. We're gonna eat it how the chef intended, and that's how I always wanna enjoy my food. I'm excited for these banh mi's, guys. Enough about me and more about this food. So we're here at the Sandwich Hag here in Dallas. The owner, Ray Young, she uh, opened this a couple years ago. It's been featured in the Big D's Magazine for best sandwiches. He wanted to highlight you know, a lot of Vietnamese restaurant owners as well. So Quoc Bon Mi and Sandwich Hag, you know, they're Vietnamese owned restaurants. So love to see you guys. It's like an outdoor patio area. Then it's not an inside, so, but it's really cool. It reminds me kind of like a food truck yard, but a little better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spoil my appetite real quick. Oat milk cream pie. They do got desserts here. They also got like a strawberry, like rice crispy. I might get that to go. 
Mm. Have you ever had bon mis before? What's your favorite thing to get on a bon mi? Comment down below. I've heard a lot about these bon mis. It's a little pricier than Kwok Bao. I think the bon mis here are like $12, so a little pricier, but hey, when the food's good, the food's good. They also have like Vietnamese soups. Um, they got spring rolls, egg rolls. We got some spring rolls as well. Apparently they got a shrimp spring roll, but they're out of it. So RIP. But we'll have to get it next time, of course. Strawberry hibiscus with passion fruit jelly. Oh, wow. Yo, that's actually pretty choice. These are the sandwiches, pork sausage, fried eggs. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my God, it's like a big chunk of, look at that pork sausage, it's so big. Oh, see cilantro. Mmm, it's a thick cut of meat, just how I like it. Ah, oh, ain't choking on this. The thing like I like so much about bomb meats, it's like a perfect blend of like the vegetables. I'm getting that kick from the jalapeno. Sweating a bit, bite the peach, peach bites back. Woo, woo, the bread. That crunch. I will say I do like a quark bow, bow's bread just a little bit more, but it's definitely a bigger sandwich. Uh, the price makes sense. A peanut sauce is usually used for the spring rolls, but. Pro tip, dip the bon mi in the peanut sauce. If your mouth is burning like mine is with the jalapeno, the peanut sauce. Time to try their egg bon mi, fried egg. Man, my mouth's still burning from the jalapeno. I was feeling bold with that one. Man, look at the eggs on this. It's an egg. Can I say I do already? I do. Yeah. I do. Is that? Egg yolk. Busted in my mouth with no disregard. Kind of like a little sneaky on me. It's like leaking. Ugh, doesn't that look pretty? This is a kid's show, I promise. The jalapeno. This one's hurting more than the pork one. But God, that egg. It's fried to perfection. The yolk, I love a runny yolk. Ooh, man, kind of like I got a different sauce. It's just like me right now, guys. Sheesh. The egg's pairing well with the baguette. And I know you can't see it, but it's like really flaky. Mm. Sandwich hat, guys. A little pricier, but man, I'm tasting like so much flavors. It's hitting harder. I mean, it has all the stuff. It's got the cilantro, the carrots, the jalapenos. The different sauce than this egg, and everything's just soaking into the bread. These bon mis today were delicious. Can't rave about them enough. And that's the beautiful thing about bon mis, guys. Are there any bon mis places I miss here in Dallas or any I should check on in the future? Let me know. Comment down below. Sandwich Hag, Quag Bao Bakery, Choice Bon Mis, Food Guide Approved. Man, I, damn, I am in disarray. That might be some of my favorite sandwiches. Real quick, we're gonna try their spring roll. Mmm. And of course, you got our peanut sauce. Peanut sauce is just undisputed. It's basically peanut butter. Mmm. Yeah, guys, if y'all made it this far of the video, thank y'all for watching. As always, like this video, comment, and share. Uh, I will be taking a break next week, guys, so I won't post again until two weeks, so I'll see y'all then. Thank you, everyone who's subscribed to the channel and just keeping up with my day-to-day. -day. I love doing this, guys, and I can't wait to keep pumping out more videos. This has been Bon Mies of Dallas, guys. Enough about me and more about this food. Mmm. Mom didn't raise no spitter.